All right, so an open top box is to be made from a rectangular piece of cardboard measuring 12 inches by 10 inches by cutting out the corner squares and folding the sides. So here we have a picture of this, of this rectangular piece of cardboard, which of these lengths is x, and this bit here, this bit here, are 10x, or 10 minus 2x and 12 minus 2x. Part A is to write the volume as a function of x. To do that, we just need to do v of x, function of x, and the volume, which is x times 12 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x, which is the height would be, which is x, the uh, length, which is 12 minus 2x, and the width, 10 minus 2x, all is multiplied volume. That is part A right there, done already. Now B asks, <coughs> what are the dimensions of the box that will hold the maximum volume? To find that, then we'll take V of X and we will uh, multiply these two together to get 120 minus 44 X plus four X squared. Then to that, We'll distribute the x into it, get, and uh, also flip it around, just to make it easier. 4x to the third minus 44x squared plus 120x. Then take the derivative of that in power terms, get v prime of x, which will be 12x squared minus 88x plus 120. So that's just 3 times 4 is 12, and then that becomes x squared because you take 1 away from that power terms. v prime of x, and, oh, sorry, we don't do that. And we set it to 0. So it becomes 0 equals 12x squared minus 88x plus 120. And then to that, we will go ahead and factor it. And to do that, then we can't really traditionally easily do that. So we're going to use the quadratic formula, which I'll do over here, which will be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that will be negative, negative, negative 88, because it's the b over here, plus or minus square root of negative 88 squared minus 4 times 12 times 120, all over 2 times 12. This simplify down to 88 plus or minus the square root of 1,984 over 24. And this, I'm going to do the plus and minus, which you can just do on the calculator to get 5.523 roughly and 1.811. Now we know it can't be 5.523 because uh, that would make that would be too wide. Since this side is the total of this side is just 10, then if you took 5.523 from each side, it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work physically to make a box. So it's definitely not that one. But just to make sure then we have to make a one of these sign charts. X, V of X, V prime of X. X is less than 1.811. 1 1.811. 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1
5.523, and 5 plus an x. Just didn't write the whole thing because I didn't have room. So then you can take something that's less than that, so 0, and then put it into this problem up here. And that would become a positive number if you work all that out, which is all that matters. So it would be positive. These which is 0, it doesn't matter. And then this one can use 2. And this one ends up being a negative number, because I've already done it, just to save time. And this one here, if you put 6 in as x into this equation, it would become a positive number. So you can draw your little lines here and see this would be our max, this would, this would be a min, minimum, maximum, minimum. So that way you know that 1.811 is the maximum, but then you've got to put that into the 10 minus 2x and 12 minus 2x. So the width is 10 minus 2 times 1.811, which equals 8.379, or sorry, 6.379. Then the length, which is you put that into 12 minus 2, 1.811, and that turns out is 8.379. So then the dimensions of it are 6.379 inches by 8.379 inches by 1.811 inches. And that's the answer for B. And then up here C is just what's the maximum volume. And uh, that can easily be found because we have all three dimensions. So C is just 8.379 times 6.379 times 1.811 is the volume. And that turns out to be 96, I'm sorry. 96.771 inches cubed is the final volume, and that's it.